What's up guys, welcome back to my channel, Keto with Sammy. For today's video, we have a highly requested recipe. I have been getting so many comments for y'all to please, please make a keto version of this. So for today's video, we are going to be making some keto eggnog. So let's get straight into this video. For our ingredients today, you're going to want some vanilla, some ground cinnamon, and as well as some ground nutmeg. You're going to want four large eggs, for our sugar replacement today, we're using this Swerve sugar replacement in the confectioner's kind, so this is the powder. You're going to want some unsweetened almond milk. Get um, unflavored if you'd like. My grocery store was out and this is the only brand that I like to get, so it's just sweetened with a little bit of extra vanilla. Then you're going to want some heavy whipping cream, and these are all our ingredients that we're going to be using today. First step to do is separate the egg yolks from the egg whites. So you're going to want an egg separator or however you do it. Right here, I have my chopper. And with my chopper, it comes with the egg separator. So I'm gonna crack my eggs. And it's going to keep the yolk on top and drop in the egg whites. Sometimes it might just need a little help to go down. Kind of shake it a bit. It is always the hardest thing to separate egg yolks from egg whites. I always have a difficult time. I don't know why. Okay, once you have it nice and separated, you're going to put the egg yolk into a bowl and just put it off to the side and repeat until you're done. All right guys, and once you have everything nice and separated, you're going to take these egg whites you're going to cover them with plastic wrap, whatever bowl you are using, and we're going to pop this in the fridge. Now, once you have your egg whites into the fridge, you're gonna take the yolks and you're going to smooth them out. You're going to whisk them up. Just like this. And then once we have these nice and whisked up, we are going to be moving on to our stove. Now moving on to our stove to start whipping up this delicious keto eggnog. So you're going to want a saucepan. Light it on a low to medium heat. And into our saucepan, we're going to start heating up our ingredients. You're going to add two cups of heavy whipping cream. To your heavy whipping cream, you're going to add one cup of your unsweetened almond milk. For our powder sugar replacement, you're going to add three fourths cup. Last ingredient you're going to add for right now is your four egg yolks. Now the reason for heating up these ingredients is to help the sugar dissolve and the eggs get nice and pasteurized. Now you're going to heat it through for about 10 to 15 minutes, but you don't want to bring this to a simmer or boil. If you think it get too hot, lower your heat. Make sure you stir every few minutes, don't let it burn, and do not bring this to a boil. You're just simply letting it heat through. Make sure you just keep checking on it, stirring. Lower your heat if you need to. This will take about 15 minutes to get nice and pasteurized. Okay, so after about 15 minutes of letting this heat through, you're going to turn off your heat. Now we're going to add the rest of our ingredients. You're going to add half a teaspoon of cinnamon. half a teaspoon of ground nutmeg, and half a teaspoon of vanilla. Now these will not dissolve, but you will mix them in. It will kind of just stay on top with like the cinnamon and the nutmeg. Looks nice and pretty, smells amazing. 
It's nice and rainy here in Houston today. So I don't know if y'all can hear the rain outside, but eggnog was perfect today for a chilly, cold, and rainy day. My husband will absolutely love this when he comes home from dinner. Everybody will love this recipe. It's so good, so easy to make. It does take a couple hours to make because you have to let your eggnog cool. So right now, after you mix all your ingredients, you're going to let your eggnog cool over the stove right here for about 20 to 25 minutes. All right guys, so after about 20 to 25 minutes of letting it cool right here in your pot, it will be nice and thick. Now we're just going to, you can either cover your pot with some parchment, or parchment paper, I'm so sorry, with plastic wrap, and you can put it in the fridge that way, but I'm going to be pouring mine into a jar. So I just poured my eggnog into this nice little jar and it has a lid on it. Now we're going to pop this in the fridge. Just pop it in your fridge just like that. Now you're going to let it refrigerate for a couple hours. I'm going to let mine refrigerate and cool down for two hours, preferably overnight if you do have the time. Okay, it has been two hours of my eggnog cooling in my fridge, and now we're going to strain it and separate any chunks from the liquid. Now you're going to want to get a bowl, and on top of your bowl, you want to put a mesh strainer. You're going to take your eggnog and simply pour it over. And this is going to take out any chunky consistency from the liquid. If you need to, take a spoon or a spatula and simply just stir it around. Doesn't that eggnog look so good? It smells absolutely amazing with the nutmeg and the cinnamon. This is going to be so delicious around Christmas time or any cold winter night. And you can see it straining right there into the bowl. Who knew you can simply make a keto eggnog with some simple ingredients. Just work it all in there. Okay, and right here you can see that if it had any chunks, it will stay right here in the mesh. Now you're going to take this eggnog and just pour it back in your glass that you had it in or whatever container that you wanted to store in the fridge. All right guys, and here is our delicious keto eggnog. We are going to serve us up a glass right now. Now the purpose of storing the egg whites in the fridge was because I know some people like to enjoy their eggnog with whipped up egg whites. So if you're someone that likes that, Take your egg whites, go hand in hand, mix them, and it gets them nice and fluffy, and you pour it right on top of your eggnog. Now, if you're someone that likes it with alcohol, go ahead and pour a shot of some keto-approved alcohol into your eggnog. And now I'm just gonna pour us up a delicious cup of this eggnog. Oh, look at that. I love me some eggnog, especially my husband. He absolutely loves eggnog. All right guys, and after you pour yourself up a cup, the rest you can just store in the fridge to stay chilled. Now I like to just top it off with an extra splash of some cinnamon, just like that. And then you can also garnish. This is just to make it look nice and pretty, a piece of cinnamon stick. And enjoy keto eggnog, perfect for the holidays. Question of the day, what is your favorite holiday drink? Comment down below. All right guys, that was today's video of our keto eggnog. I hope y'all enjoy this recipe over the Christmas holidays and the winter break and hopefully it just puts y'all in the Christmas spirit. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more awesome keto recipes because there are going to be tons coming for the holidays and I cannot wait. And I'll see y'all in my next video.